Want to make a door for your 3D Gato game? Here's how. First, you need a door. I'm using a CSG wall and doorway using two CSG box nodes. The first parent node creates the wall, and the second subtracts from the wall as a child, creating a hole for the door. Note that in a game, you'll want this to be a mesh. The door is an animatable body 3D node. Why? Because a static body 3D node doesn't affect objects when moved, but an animatable body 3D does. And we'll want a closing door to push our player out of the way. We add a door mesh to fill the hole in our wall and generate a simple collision mesh for the door using the dropdown in the toolbar. Next, add a new basic node named door component and attach a new script. This script will use the class name door component and will rely on our interaction component to know when the player interacts with the parent object. If you don't have that, check out my previous video in the description. Basically, the interaction component creates a signal in the parent that fires when the player presses an interact button while looking at the door. If you're working from your own interaction setup, you'll just need a signal to fire whenever you interact with a door. For export variables, we need direction for the direction we want the door to move, door size so we can copy and adjust the movement amount, speed for how quickly the door will move, close time for how long it takes for it to close, and transition and easing to adjust our animation. We need a variable for our parent and one to retain the original position of our door for when we close it. In the ready function, we get our parent, get our parent's original position, and then wait until the parent is ready to run our signal connection function, connect parent. Connect parent connects our interaction signal, in my case, interacted, to our open door function. If you have your own interaction signal, that would go here. The open door function creates a tween that will adjust the position of our parent, in this case, the animatable body 3D node, using its original position plus the set direction and size of the door. Tween interval gives us a delay before we run a tween callback to run our closed door function, which does its own tween to return to the original position. And that's it. You can now create different door types using just the door component.